Hello everybody and welcome back to Herds Hill Gourmet Tricks and Treats and today I'm going to make an omelette. Now as you know anything to do with eggs in the kitchen especially anything to do with eggs that sounds simple is in fact one of the most difficult things to do correctly. I've beaten three eggs here you need to beat them quite well I let it down with a bit of milk. Now most purists would say not to do that. So a lot of the things I'm going to do, you'll find in proper cookbooks, they tell you not to do. Um, I don't add any salt because that tends to dry out the eggs, but I make sure I kind of beat them quite, uh, quite well. I've got a pan over here, so come over here, Julie, and we'll take a look at this. I've got a pan here with some uh, butter and some oil. And now this needs to get quite hot. You'll see there's quite a bit in there. I like to uh, have quite a flavour of, uh, of butter in this. Um, I'm using a non-stick pan, which you'll see. Now, you're not supposed to. What you're supposed to use are these, which my sister bought me some years ago. I spent months and months and months trying to season them so they wouldn't stick, and I failed miserably. So I don't apologise for taking refuge in a non-stick pan, even though this one is probably past its prime and may not actually work that well. But your pan needs to be quite hot. This uh, butter needs to, to bubble away uh, because when your eggs go in, we need them to start to cook. And immediately they're in there, you need to move them around. Now, uh, if you watch Fanny Craddock or any other uh, proper cook, you'll see they do this with a fork. But you move them around really quite quickly because what you're doing effectively is scrambling the egg. And you scramble the egg, move it around, keep it going. Uh, I put three eggs in this, which is rather a lot, but um, it does make a cracking good omelet. Two eggs, you know, can be a bit thin. But at Herds Hill, um, sometimes we're asked for small omelets, in which case I would do two eggs. Uh, but normally I would just serve three eggs. And so we keep moving these around until they start to um, to come together and then when they start coming together even more I will just leave them uh, and again this may not be necessarily how you've been taught to do it. Now you'll see that on the top of that omelette is rather runny and we leave it runny and that's called baveurs and this is the best way to make an omelette. You need to have the inside of the omelette just slightly undercooked. It keeps cooking all the time you kind of have it on the plate, so by the time you get to eat it, it will be um, uh, more cooked than when you kind of turn it out. The trick of turning out an omelette, I've also given up trying to do, <laughs> because in the classic way, because the, the chefs will take their omelette pan like this, and they'll have the egg in there and they will tap the handle like this and it will gradually fold over on itself. Again, I could spend a lifetime practicing how to do that. So instead of doing that, I've cheated and I just fold it all over like this in a big fold towards that end of the pan and leave it on the gas so that it cooks, continues to cook. But I want it to look like I know what I'm doing when I make an omelette. So I want it to look like a pillow, to look like um, a fluffy little pillow. So you take the pan in your other hand, in your left hand like this, but the other way around, so not like that, like that. Move it down to the middle here, and then with the spatula, go around the other side, Julie, you'll see it better. I just keep the spatula there, and then I tip the egg gently till it falls over onto itself, and then you have the perfect shaped omelette. Now you can fill omelettes with anything you like, cheese, tomato, uh, you know, bananas, whatever you like. The French have a really, really lovely lunch recipe of grated courgette, uh, which is super. And then of course there is the wonderful omelette Arnold Bennett, which is uh, smoked haddock and cream. So once you've mastered the perfect bavures, omelette then you can fill it with anything you like. So uh, practice the omelette and enjoy working on your own kind of uh, speciality fillings. See you again.